I'm going to show you how to create Danning Notice with a Fiori app in SAP s 4 Assist. This is the video number five of the end-to-end -end Danning process that we are doing here in this channel. My name is Undir and I've been working with SAP since 2001 with my main focus in finance and I work as an SAP FICO contract. In case you want to reach me out for projects, please find my LinkedIn ID in the description of this video. If you are just now reaching to this channel, its name is SAP at a glance, and the aim is to share SAP knowledge. Therefore, do not forget, subscribe to this channel to receive new videos on a weekly basis. My dear audience, I would like to make you a request to help this channel to reach to the first 1,000 subscribers. At the moment, we have more than 9,000 views and less than 250 subscribers. Please could you help us to scale this balance by subscribing to this channel. Here in this channel, we deliver high quality of content and I use my free time to make videos to share SAP knowledge for free. I think it's fair enough to ask your contribution to share SAP knowledge. How can you do that? Pretty simple. You just need to click in the button subscribe and share this channel within your network. Let's reach to the first 1000 subscribers. In the previous video, we have updated the customer business partners within the dining procedure. Now we are going to run the dining notice. And now without any further ado, let's start and let's go to the system to see how we can make the magic. If you don't know yet how to if you don't know yet how to navigate, there is a link for videos here in this video. If you struggle how to find new Fiori apps in the Fiori library, in the SAP Fiori library, you can find also the link in this video. Now what we are going to do, we are going to use this tile create dining notice. I mean, tile means uh, Fiori app. So if you, as you can see here, there is the F under 50, which means the transaction code in the SAP GUI menu. So basically this uh, Fiori app is an improvement or a, I would say, this is an emulation of the transaction code into the Fiori. So now here, what I'm going to show you quickly here in the more, you can go to the environment and then display configuration. What can you see here? We can see our dining procedure that we have created. I'm going to double click. And then you can see from here, we can see everything about the configuration of our dining procedure. I just moved the dining interval days for one so we, I can do more tests in the system. It's getting back. So now starting with the parameters here, we need to put the run on. I put the di this date and then the identification. In the parameters, I'm, I want to say the dining date I want to put in the past, 13. So then I can run more dining notice today to try to increase the level of the document, of the, the dining for that customer. Here in the doc documents post that I'm putting until yesterday because I was creating some documents for this video my company code and now I need to put the customer. For the customer, for the customer I have here the Fiori app manage customer line items where I have my customers invoices and ones that are due already. So they should be picked up by the program of dining. So I'm going to use this customer here to make it here. So here in the free selection, I'm going to choose the document number. So more fields, okay. I want documents, continue. And I want document number. So document number, I selected already one document. Additional log, maybe we can put our customer. And now parameter, status, and then save the parameters. Now we are going to uh, make the schedule. 
we choose the output device. Continue. And then start immediately. And we are going to choose only this option. Dispatch. Now the job is finished and we have one note is printed, done and run is complete. So now, now what are we going to see? I open already here so we don't waste time. My business partner, we say a FI customer, and if you can see in the correspondence, the dining, we have the dining, last dining update with the 13th of Jan, which means I ran this for 13th of Jan, updated here, and then the dining level is one, okay, for this, for this guy. So now if I'm going here to my journal entry, Reminder that I put this journal entry. So now inside of my journal entry, I wanted to show you that we have here the accounts receivable, accounts payable, last dining. So I have a dining level for this, for this document. And then when I go back to the dining parameters, I go back and then we can see the log. We can select, we can read what is in the log. This is our document what has been done. So when you do it, you have the time to read it. And there is here the uh, sample printout that I wanted to show you, which we have also made our configuration. So this should be the letter that it, uh, the client will receive. So my customer, this is my customer name. I'm, on, I'm not going to print, but I'm going to display. So this is the, the standard one. Okay, it needs to be custom for your client. So from here, from the mall, we can go to the dining history, which is going to show you again what we did previously. Okay, so this is our dining history. I'm going to get back one more step. So now let's create another dining. If you are enjoying this video with me doing for you, please make a like to us. Don't get away because you need to stay until the end of this video. Number two. Parameter is done. So instead of 13, I'm going to use, for instance, 15. Documents posted up to yesterday. My company codes. And then my company code, I'm going to use the same customer. This customer, additional log, I can put the customer. Now in the free selection, we are going to put the, uh, the document numbers. So document table, I want document number. So I, want to, I don't want to consume everything that I have in the system. So. We go from the 8 to the 9. Life is good. Parameters. And then I'm going to save. So, parameters are saved. Now we are going to schedule again. Output device is one by default that I have in the system. And then I'm going to do as it is. So life is good. This is done. So we are going to go for the dining list. We haven't seen yet. By default, it comes this program. You accept the program. You click on continue. So this, hour, this is our two documents that we run the dining. Let's get it back. And then here we are going to show the log, which is the same thing. Now we have two documents in our log. If you can see, this has the level, Dunning level one is document, then Dunning level number two. Let's see something else. In here, sample pre printout, I think we saw it already, we don't need. Let's get to our business partner to see how the system updated. So that's my, business partner. Now I need to insert my company code, enter. So now if you see, last dunning was 15 and then dunning level number two as what we did. So 
number a cell last man learning was done on 15 and then level 2. If we go here to see our configuration, we can see that we have four levels and I put an interval days of one day so I can do this several times. So far so good. Let's get it back. And then let's have a look at the documents itself. Now in the documents, if I click here, I wanted to see the document itself to see the update of the dunning. So here I can see last done, last done, done this date, and then the le dunning level of this document is number one. And then if I go to this document that we previously ran the dunning for it, now I have last uh, done and then dunning level number two. Don't get away, we are going to see another Fiori app. So there is this Fiori app called Dunning History. If I click here, by default, I see that I have this, uh, this Dunning here. I can click in the number one. We can see what's happened inside, 30, 30 series uh, on the delight. And we have here the first document. And then in the second run that we ran, we had the two documents that were selected. Dunning level, number two, the number one. Let's get back again to the Fiori app. I'm going to use the number three now. Now in the Dunning date, 15, I will put 17. Document poses up to yesterday. S100. And now we are going to have three customers. Let's use this customer. Let's use the other customer plus this one. Well, now I have my customers there in the free selection. I'm going to use exactly the same thing. Document number up to this one. We are going to save our parameters and then we are going to schedule. Same thing. So far, so good. Start immediately. Start. Now, let's wait and see. Okay, now it seems this has finished. So, exception list. So, I have in here two exception lists excluded in the parameter criteria. Let's go get back. Dunning list. We have exactly the same two documents. And now, now if you see, I have the Dunning level number two and number three. Now you know how to create Dunning notice with the Fiori app in SAP S4 Assistant. Thanks for watching this video. You can find the next video in the description of this one. Please do not forget, subscribe to this channel to receive new videos on a weekly basis. See you in the next video.